fake meat, mock, alternatives, or plant-based meat, no matter what you call them, but vegan meat products are more common than ever. Not surprisingly, there has been a lot of talk about these products. Are they healthy? How do vegan meats help animals? Why would vegans want to eat something like meat if they don't eat meat? And perhaps the most asked question of them all, how vegan meat is made. So before stepping in for the manufacturing process, first let's know. Vegetarian meat is manufactured using meat replacements that have the same taste, texture, and flavor as meat, but without causing any cruelty. Vegan meat, also known as faux, fake meat, mock meat, meat analogs or plant proteins are products that have a similar texture, flavor, or appearance like that of animal-based meat. Plant-based meats are products designed to imitate meat. While earlier products like tofu and Satan were meant to replace meat, Vegan meat does not contain any animal ingredients at all, but gives you the same taste like meat. Appearance, texture, and flavor are the three main challenges food scientists face when developing a convincing plant-based meat. These are what give meat its characteristics and essence. When meat cooks, its texture changes. The temperature of the pan or the grill affects protein structures. As proteins begin to break down, coagulate and contract, the meat tenderizes and firms up. What's known as the Maillard reaction is responsible for that distinctive, meaty aroma and savory flavor. Understanding it helps food research and development teams replicate it in plant-based meat products. Vegan meat is made from simple plant ingredients that people have been cooking with and eating safely for thousands of years, which are protein from potatoes, wheat and soy, and fat from coconuts. It also contains nutrients, vitamins, amino acids, simple sugars, minerals and iron that are found in other healthy food we eat. The process starts with mixing all these ingredients. Soy, wheat, pea, fava proteins, potato protein, as well as starches, flours, hydrocolloids, coconut oil, and water are mixed well by putting them in a big mixer. This mixture is made keeping in mind a special type of texture, so that after mixing and shaping it, it is visible and chewable just like meat. but it cannot be considered meat just by looking like meat. So now the next step is to have the taste of meat in it. Here comes heme. Heme is primarily responsible for generating the unmistakable, craveable flavor and aroma of cooked meat. Heme is an important part of every cell in every animal and plant. Heme, in a protein called hemoglobin, gives your blood the ability to carry oxygen throughout your body. The exceptionally high quantities of heme that animal tissues require to meet their energy demands are also responsible for the unique flavors and aromas that make meat taste like meat. Every plant contains many different heme proteins with diverse, important functions. Scientists tested many heme proteins for many plants. One of them was leguminoglobin, found in the roots of legumes where it helps them extract nitrogen from the air to enrich the soil. When scientists mixed leguminoglobin with plant proteins, fats, and other simple nutrients, it started giving taste like meat. So, once the whole protein mixture is prepared, then plant-based and lab-prepared heme is added to it. Heme is the reason for the color and meat flavor in this mixture. Heme is what makes meat taste like meat. The next step is to transform the final mixture into a layered fibrous structure that closely matches the appearance and texture of meat. High moisture extrusion and shear cell technologies are two of the most common processes used to do this.
Once this layer is ready, it is sent for packing and distribution. Vegan meat can be easily eaten by baking through any usual process. So that's how vegan meat or plant-based meat is made. If you think this video is informative, do like this video and subscribe our channel. May science bless you.